Mike Peden here with Mariah Adonane from De La Salle, who was back-to-back -back state tournament champions with the Islanders. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Quite the rebound for you this year. I had heard you had all clunked your head in a practice and had to sit out for a third of the season and then were cleared to play. So I guess what did you do during that time off to maybe learn or work on your skill set? Um, I really couldn't do much, so basically I just got rest, and I was always there at my team, all the team games and practices as much as I could, and I just stayed motivated. I think that was the biggest thing, and I prayed a lot. <laughs> you were one of three De La Salle players to get double digits and rebounds overall, plus 22 margin. Uh, how did you box out so well? Um, I think before the game, I always set goals, and one of them were to rebound. I knew that was going to be a big deal, especially during the state tournament, so I just did that and stuck to it. <laughs> what about driving right? Were you able to pull that off today? <laughs> uh, unfortunately not, <laughs> but there's always room for practice and improvement. <laughs> well, if you mastered everything, there'd be nothing to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what does it mean to come in here and win two in a row. I know it's hard to do, even though De La Salle was the favorite coming in, seated number three, although as they show, wasn't much of a factor tonight, and not to mention De La Salle played a very tough schedule, which included uh, Hopkins mm -hmm. earlier this season. Um, this just means a lot. I mean, we're truly blessed to be here, and it's such a great opportunity just to make it to state. So we're truly blessed, and we're really happy. Nothing as crazy this year as compared to last year, but what uh, continued in terms of the bonding and chemistry with this team that uh, helped them get to this point once more? Um, I would just say including everyone, even the freshmen. We have freshmen in our team, and so just including them in our circle and just getting everybody pumped up and on the same page helped a lot with our chemistry. I know you're focused on the court, but your fans had some creative chance. Of course, their uh, trademark is uh, Darcy as a, uh, as a substitute for a less appropriate term for calls I may not disagree with. Mm -hmm. So what's been the fan support like? Because I saw perhaps the biggest De La Salle crowd in years, and they've been a routine contender in the state tournament. Um, the crowd has been actually crazy this year. The fans are so awesome. I couldn't even be more happy. This year, I think a lot of people at De La Salle are getting involved, more involved, just coming into games and supporting us, which means a lot to us. So it's great. How much did last year's state tournament title perhaps influence the notion that De La Salle girls basketball is just as talented as the boys? Um, I think it set a standard for both our teams, especially the girls, you know, that's been our goal since the beginning of the season and we all stuck to that and we just worked hard every day. So. And what does this mean for you knowing that you're going out as a champion two times in a row? It means everything to me. I mean, I'm so grateful. I'm just happy to be back, you know. I, the doctor said I probably wouldn't have played and just to be here it just means the world to me. Not only did you play, you got eight points at 11 rebounds, so uh, go ahead and show that to those folks who thought you couldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> is anyone you want to say hi to that might be watching? Um, all the super fans, all my cousins, my family, and my mom and my dad, thank you for supporting me. And, yeah, just all the faculty at De La Salle for supporting us. Do you know what's next for you in terms of academic or athletic plans? Um, well, definitely going to college, but I'm still figuring that out. <laughs> As long as you're going to college, that's the important <laughs> thing. The rest will fall into place. Yeah, exactly. That's all. Okay. Congratulations once more, and uh, go celebrate with your Islanders. I'm sure there's going to be a big party on Nicolette Island uh, in this very nice weather. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thank you. Mariah Donane of De La Salle.